Considering that cold it's been this uh, spring, uh, it's like a blast furnace suit here. The soil's still damp under the leaves, and these weeds come up every year in the leaves. And if they have flowers on them, you can't really compost them because the flowers may have made seeds, and that will be in your compost pile, especially if you put it on top. Like these little green things with the white tops, white flowers. If you put that on your compost pile, you'll just transfer this weed to your compost pile. What I've been doing is I take a manure fork. It's just a 90 degree vent fork. And I get under them and you can pick up uh, one that big uh, at one swipe. And I put it in here. I put the lid on it. And I leave it out here in the sun and it'll bake. Move it over so you can see it all. And it'll kill it all. And then I can throw it in my compost pile. Just a little tip to do with your weeds. No sense throwing them in the trash can when you can uh, let the solar energy eat this weeds up to kill them all. And the seeds. There's a lot of people talking about back to Eden Garden where you cover your whole garden with uh, wood chips. Well, I do that in a different way. I cover my whole garden with leaves. Chopped up leaves, there's a little pine needles in it. And uh, this pile was about six to eight inches thick. And now it's probably four to five inches thick. And you can see where it's messed up there where I've been pulling the weeds up. This protects the soil. So right now, when I come down here, if I wanted to work in the soil, down here on my knees, all right, I'm going to just pull the leaves back. Now, when you get ready to plant, does your soil look like this? See what the leaves do for you? It's not compacted down like a sidewalk. Look at that big old worm sitting there. This property did not have a worm on it eight, nine years ago. This all came down from egg casings in my compost pile from our home. But see, I can dig in here with my hand. I've seen people using a mantis or a, pla or a little tiller on their gardens and the blades are skipping across the top of the ground. How are you going to plant something in something that hard? But this has organic matter in it. We're going on nine years. That's what you need. There's a weed root. I'll throw that out. Here's another one. But you got, you know, this is why I put leaves on it. And the leaves break down and add compost to it. There's another worm. That's all you got to do. Is protect the soil. Cover it. You got a raised bed. Cover it. If you got uh, uh, big pots, whiskey barrels, cover it. Just put leaves on it, and it'll be like this. That's all I can say about it. Now I got to get all these weeds up. I'll be honest with you, I haven't been doing a lot of hard physical work during the uh, winter months, but this 87, 88, 90 degree weather standing in the sun no it is really working on me today. I just got that little bunch right there to get up. I see a couple little green things over there. A couple of them along the edge, but uh, one of the reasons I want to save this is each one of these things have a lot of soil on them, and I don't want to lose this soil I've been working with. Plus, a few minutes ago, unless a bird came over and got it, I flipped this out and it had a cutworm in it, and I was going to show you what a cutworm looked like. This is the first one I've ever seen in this garden. There he is. See him curled up in a circle? Let me make sure. Now if you ever had plant a little tomato plant out and it was a little too tender and you came out the next day and it looked like somebody snipped it off at the ground with a pair of scissors, well that's a little critter that did it. See how it's curled up around that little stem in the ground? That's a grub lava type thing. Japanese beetle looks a little like that, but the head's not quite that way. But he just goes around it and eats it and it's like it's cut off with a pair of scissors. So that's what I wanted to show you, and he's going to get stepped on. But see all this soil on the bottom of all these roots? I don't want to lose that. All these roots and all this soil will decompose or compost down. And this thing probably weighs, I can't pick it off the ground. It's probably, uh, I don't know, 60, 70 pounds, and two-thirds of it's probably soil. So 
If I was to put these weeds on top of that, see, I'd introduce weeds. Now, if that compost pile wasn't but a foot tall, you could put this in there if you wanted to, as long as you put more stuff on it, because the compost pile has natural heat. Plus, with this kind of day, this warm, the sun will kill all those weed seeds. But when you put it on the top, there's no layers to hold the heat in to raise the temperature up enough to kill it. And you can actually put a copper pipe tubing coiled up in a compost pile like twice as tall as that one or more and completely inside of it and the water will burn you if you run it through that pipe in fact they do it out at some of the real backwood camps and the water that they take a shower with is heated in their compost pile and it will burn you and a good compost pile you put your hand all the way down in there you won't keep it in there long because it is too uncomfortable well we're going to go back home in a little while my bride's still getting up in pine cones. We've taken uh, five trash cans away and she's working on her sixth one.